Hola amigos y amigas, bienvenido y bienvenida a Tagaif in Spanish, the place where you are going to learn real Spanish that we speak in Mexico and in Latin America as well. You'll know a little bit about the cultural context too, so you can be ready for your trip or living in Mexico or Latin America. So let's start. Bueno, yo tengo aquí una botella, una botella, esta botella grande de cerveza se llama caguama en México, caguama. Una caguama es una botella grande de cerveza de casi un litro, of almost one liter. I think it's 940 milliliters. This is very interesting because a caguama is usually cheaper than a normal you know, size beer. And the cool thing about this is that this is environmentally friendly because you can take your, you can buy, let's say you want, you go to the OXO. This is another cultural thing. OXO are the convenience stores, the grocery stores that are all around in Mexico. Very popular, by the way, where you can find your food, anything, anything. So you go to the OXO. And you want, you buy your kawama, and then when you want to buy another kawama, you take your bottle of kawama to the OXO, and then you pay less money because you're leaving that bottle in the OXO, and then you take another one. It's very environmentally friendly. Entonces, tú dices, yo llevo mi kawama al OXO, mi botella de kawama, el envase. El envase es como de container. El envase lo llevo al Oxxo y pago menos, un poquito menos, unos pesos menos. Compro mi caguama y tengo una caguama, tengo más cerveza y que pague por menos dinero. Es environmentally friendly, you save a little bit of money as well. And also, well, if you like beer, well, you know this secret. The cultural context behind this. Not many people like kawamas, you know. It's related to social classes. <laughs> Can you believe that? Um, for example, um, I remember the other day we went to Las Grutas de Tolontongo. It's a very beautiful place with natural pools in the state of Hidalgo in Mexico. Probably you've seen it. It's becoming very popular in Mexico. You can go there as well. It's in the mountains. Beautiful. It's beautiful. And we were there and then a man entered a shop, a grocery store, and he ordered a beer. Uh, me da una cerveza, por favor. And the, and the person in the store said, okay, do you want a kawama? ¿Quieres una kawama? And the man said, ni que fuera albañil. Ni que fuera albañil means not that I'm a construction worker or something. Something like that. Wow. He was saying he doesn't drink uh, kawamas because that's only for albañiles or construction workers. That was very classist, like if a construction worker was inferior, you know. But sadly, that's how a lot of people would see kawamas in the past. I don't know now if that's something that it's still common. Well, I've seen that not many people buy kawamas. They like to buy the, the normal size bottles. That's a cultural thing that I wanted to mention. And now I want to introduce a very uh, good word that you should know if you live or do you want to travel in Mexico. That is naco or naca. You say naco or naco to a situation or an object that is considered low quality or less sophisticated. You can say that music is naca. La música es naca. Eh, la ropa es naca. Some people, at least in the past, I don't want to say that this exists in the present as well, but people would tell naco to a, the, people would call a person naco or naca as well. This term was a pejorative term used in a person who was of a lower social class. Eh, maybe that person didn't have education and it was very related to jobs that didn't require let's say, going to school, studies. One of that job was, for example, albañiles. This is the interesting part. Caguamas are related to 
people who are nacos or nacas or were related at, the, at least in the past. And it's something that at least in my times when I was younger, when I was 20 years old. So las caguamas son para gente naca. If you hear that, you know now the context. Now, we have the opposite of naco. Tenemos lo opuesto de naco que es una persona fresa. Esto también es slang. Naco es slang, fresa es slang. Fresa es una persona que es probablemente de clase social alta, tal vez tiene dinero, tú sabes. Incluso habla diferente way. Let me try if I can do this. Habla así way como que yo... Sé mucho de música. Maybe I'm naca. I, I can't do the accent. Entonces, ¿eres, ¿tú eres fresa en México? Bueno, espero que te haya gustado este video. Nos vemos en el próximo video. Adiós.